Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitz1TV here, aka Lauren 33 I'm back here today with another video on the channel for you guys. And today, we got the early draft pages for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 86. It is that time of the month. And we're going to be going through them in this video as the hype starts to build for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 86. And we should be getting the full chapter sometime next week. Um, my prediction probably will it'll be coming out uh, sometime next Wednesday or Thursday on the 20th or the 21st. So when it does drop, I of course, like I always do, we'll make a full video with the reaction and all of that good stuff and the review. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. And then probably in the next couple days, I would probably say probably this weekend, you know, we should start expecting, you know, spoilers to drop where we'll get, you know, probably a summary and we'll get, uh, you know, uh, more visuals and stuff. And I expect this to be a crazy chapter. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. Uh, because as the spoilers come out, I will be uh, hooking you guys up with all of the info. And I, like I said, I think this is going to be a crazy chapter. I think we're getting close to the end. We're not all the way there, but I think we're getting really, really close to the end of this arc, or at least the end of this battle with Goku, Vegeta, Granola, and Gas. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. But before uh, we get into the early draft pages really quickly, uh, I do want to note of something in interesting. So we always get the early draft pages from the official Dragon Ball website, right? And before we get into the draft pages, uh, it gave us a little bit of a summary of what happened in the last chapter. So in chapter 85... So chapter 85, Vegeta mocked Goku's lack of progress with Ultra Instinct and then puts his life on the line to buy time for his fellow Saiyan to realize his own unique version of the godly technique. So I guess Vegeta's strategy, Vegeta wanted to beat Gas, but he also knew that to defeat Gas, he needed Goku's help. And, you know, the best, their best bet was Goku uh, developing a unique version of Ultra Instinct. So... That's kind of cool. So you get a little bit of insight into what Vegeta's strategy was against Gas. But it revealed, and here's the key. Goku's new emotionally driven form of Ultra, Ultra Instinct allows him to gain the upper hand against Gas. So like I said, I hated how last chapter people were trying to clickbait uh, others into believing that Goku had, you know, unlocked a new form or something like that. No, it was Ultra Instinct Omen. But this time, this was Goku uh, using emotions with Ultra Instinct, which he's never done in the past. He's never used that in the Tournament of Power or against Moro or earlier in this arc against Granola. This is the first time we've seen Goku use emotions with Ultra Instinct. And that's why uh, last chapter it looked like a completely different fighting style, right? Uh, so I will be making a video on this eventually. I don't know when, but I am planning on making a video that talks about this emotional form of Ultra Instinct. I do want to kind of see where it goes in this chapter before making a video. But like I said, that is coming. We're going to uh, make an explained video on Goku's new Ultra Instinct. Um, but anyway, uh, it seems that Goku's on the brink of victory. And at that moment, Alec jumps in and Harsi reprimands Gas, causing the heater to steal uh, his resolve, unleashing everything and changing into a new form. So there you go. So that leads us into this, right? Chapter 86, an all-out battle. First of all, I like that title. That title is pretty beast. That tells me that, you know, this is going to be a crazy chapter. I expect this not just to be, you know, Goku versus Gas. I expect Vegeta to probably get involved. And I do think Granola does make a return in this chapter. That was my prediction at the end of last chapter, and I'm sticking to it. I'm expecting Granola to finally get back out there in this uh, in this chapter. I don't know how strong Granola is going to be. Uh, I don't know how healed he's going to be because remember the Heater Clan's, uh, you know, uh, Gas broke his arms uh, and shot his eyes out. Then they shot him in the chest. So Granola was in horrible shape. Uh, and it will be interesting to see how effective he can be. But I do expect Granola to finally make a return to the battlefield in this chapter in some way, shape, or form. But anyway, 
But yes, chapter 86, an all out battle. Remember at the end of chapter 85, gas did transform. Uh, and basically it's, it's been indirectly confirmed that basically the wish or the condition that was made, uh, for elk, uh, to make gas into the strongest in the universe was that gas can continue to get stronger, but in turn, he has to trade in his life form or his, uh, his life, his life force. That's why gas has that, uh, this disgusting old face, uh, now because basically he's gotten a lot stronger, but He's also getting older at the same time. That's why we're, or it looks like this is leading to if Goku and Vegeta and Granoa are able to get gas to use enough power, then he'll just continue to age and either he'll, he won't be able to fight because he's too old or he'll just flat out die because, you know, uh, he'll have no more life energy left. But anyway, uh, I, I, and the one thing I want to say in these, you'll see in these draft pages, you'll see this just the paneling is really, really good. I don't know if this is just because we're getting to, like, the decisive chapters here. But uh, you'll see the paneling and the detail, especially for just this being draft pages, looks really, really well done. I got to give Tortaro credit on that. Uh, you know, and we'll have to see where the rest of the chapter takes us and the story and all that. But the paneling does look really, really good for this chapter. So... Here we have Gas, you know, he's unleashed in his new form, his new old form, right? Uh, and you can see Goku is shocked. And you see Alec uh, jumps away because uh, he knows uh, the battle is about to continue. And you can see he has a look of satisfaction on his face as, you know, Gas's resolve has, you know, come to the forefront. So we see right away, and like I said, I love the paneling here. So we see Gas, he stretches his arm out, right, his hand out, and basically he uses telekinesis on Goku, right, to strangle Goku. So he uses telekinesis to grab Goku from the neck, and you can see Goku's in pain, and he's like, damn it all, right, because he cannot, you know, uh, free himself from Gas's grip. So Gas, uh, Gas is basically strangling Goku, right, you can see just in, like, I'm not gonna lie, Gas's face here is terrible. I, I don't like the image of old Gas. I like the way he looked before much more, but, uh, you know, this is supposed to highlight how basically Gas has gotten stronger. You know, this new old wrinkly face he has is supposed to highlight how he's gotten stronger. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Moro, if you think about it. When uh, the Z Fighters were fighting Moro in the last arc, right? Moro started off as an old man, and then he, as he stole energy uh, and magic and all that, and he got stronger throughout the arc, he became younger, right? Up until, you know, he uh, he fused with OG-73. Uh, and now here in this arc is, you know, as the arc goes on, Gas becomes older and older. So I like it. in the Moro arc, Moro becomes younger and younger as he, uh, he grows stronger, and as this uh, art goes on, uh, gas grows older and older, which I, I think is kind of cool. But anyway, you see, uh, gas is enjoying himself. It, you know, like his, his face is really terrifying and kind of gross looking. Um, but, uh, gas says, I'm just going to twist your head off like this. Right. But, uh, before gas can do anything, Goku is barely able to use his left arm to perform an instant transmission to free himself from gas's grip. So then he appears right behind um right behind gas and then he goes for a punch right and he's like take this but then instead gas uh hits him with a forearm backhand and he hits Goku straight in the mouth you know you can see some blood and it looks like Goku may have lost a tooth as well so uh gas hits Goku so hard man that you know, uh, he looks like Goku's going to have to go to the dentist at the end of this arc. Um, and that was kind of a bad joke, but whatever. So you see, uh, like I said, the paneling is really cool. Like, look at these panels. You can really see how fluent Goku's movement is, right? So you see, uh, Goku gets up, right? And he's ready uh, to attack Gas again. But then Gas is now behind him. And you can see... Goku's shocked to see Gas behind him, and look, I, li I do like this panel, you know, Gas has his eyes closed, and, you know, he, he's been given a new life in a way, right? 
You see Gas say, I feel really great right now. And then he grabs Goku by the head and he's like, every cell is burning uh, like fuel. It's a feeling that I never had before. I don't know if that's just Gas just legitimately just saying how he feels or if that's what's actually going on in Gas's body. We know that Gas is aging, right? We know that he's aging and that's making him more powerful, right? That's the exchange. But uh, still, uh, yeah, it could be that Gas is, you know, as he's aging, his cells are burning off a little bit more. But still, I don't know. But that, that is kind of a cool line. Each cell is burning like fuel. And it it's kind of remi- it reminds me a little bit of Ultra Ego because, you know, how Vegeta talks about how damage fuels his body, right? And that makes him stronger, uh, you know? But and remember, it was, it's kind of ironic because if you remember in the last chapter, when Gas was beating Vegeta down, Gas was kept saying how stupid it was that uh, Vegeta's technique uh, allows him to get stronger, but he has to take damage to get that fuel. But here you have Gas talking about how his cells burning or like fuel in a way. So I kind of, I kind of ironic. It's a little bit of a comparison to Ultra Ego, but of course, what's going on with Gas here is completely different than what happens with Vegeta and Ultra Ego. But we see Gas violently just grabs Goku by the head and flings him away like it's nothing. Goku goes flying into the forest, through the trees, right? And you can see Goku is struggling right now. And then out of nowhere, Goku gets caught in some type of tornado uh, from Gas. And you can see Gas is in full control. And that is the cliffhanger as we uh, lead to the end of these draft pages. So uh, the cliffhanger is how will Goku, uh, you know, recover? Can Goku get back into this fight? Uh, He had the upper hand and it looked like he was on the verge of victory last chapter. But now... Gas is fully back in control and has fully turned the tables on Goku. Like I said, this isn't it, the chapter is called All Out Battle, so clearly it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be just you know Gas dominating the others for this whole chapter. I don't expect that at all. You know, uh, I expect Vegeta to get back into this. Right, we know he was waking up uh, while Goku was fighting Gas last chapter. And like I said, my big prediction is I expect Granola to get back into the fight as well. Well, it will be interesting. Will Goku tap back into Master UI? You know, uh, will we see a new form of MUI, you know, similar to what we saw with Ultra Instinct Omen? We saw last chapter Goku was able to use emotions with UI Omen and it gave him the edge he needed against Gas. Now he's going to need something else as Gas has turned to tables. So will Goku be able to use MUI effectively and will that help him here against Gas? We'll have to wait and see. But I think, you know, we will see the return of MUI once again here, uh, probably in this chapter along with Granola. That's my two big things. You know, I expect the return of MUI in this chapter. You know, we'll see if it's like a new form of MUI or something else. Um, and I expect Granola to return to the battlefield as well. Well, I don't expect it to be gas just dominating for the entire chapter. I, I, I don't expect that at all. I remember, uh, I think it was Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 62. That was the chapter where Moro just absolutely destroys the Z-Fires, like the entire chapter. Um, I, I think that title was ti- that chapter was titled um, Edge of Defeat. This chapter is titled All Out Battle. So I expect this to be a ferocious chapter. I don't expect it to just be gas dominating the whole time. I expect Goku uh, to get back into it. I expect Vegeta to get back into it. I expect Granola to finally make a return as well. And then we'll see uh, how that how that helps our heroes uh, and where that puts them by the time we reach the end of this chapter. Remember, this is only the first one, two, three, four, five. They seven pages. We still have like 38 other pages left from this chapter. And I think a lot more is going to be happening. So we'll see um, how Goku and the others get back into it. And if they're able to uh, finally defeat gas in this chapter, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, But yeah, that's what I expect 
Uh, that's my predictions coming out of the draft pages. Like I said, the uh, really, I do love the paneling here. It's really fluent, right? And pretty easy to follow. So if there's one thing, Toratara Tower continues to get better and better and, pe and better at paneling as time goes on, the longer he works on this manga. And that's, I got to give him credit for that. You know, like him or not, when it comes to a story, a telling perspective or whatever, um, Toratara has grown a lot as an artist and as, and as a manga panelist, and it's really, really good to see, to be honest. So uh, all the credit to Toratara, hopefully he keeps at it, and we'll see what, o what other cool art we get uh, from him in this chapter. But yeah, you know, I'm not surprised to see Gas dominating. I expected the second we saw Gas power up at the end of last chapter, I expected Gas to take... Uh, to take uh, back the tides of the battle. Um, but like I said, this is not over yet. And I expect Goku and the others to get back into it. You know, and we'll see how long it lasts. Will Gas die in this chapter? Will Gas uh, get too powerful to the point where he ages out? Uh, we'll see. But uh, definitely I'm not surprised at all by what's happening in these early draft pages uh, to begin uh, this chapter. But... Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. What's your prediction for this chapter, especially after seeing the early draft pages? Do you think Granola is going to come back? Will Groku go MUI again? Uh, will Vegeta uh, be able to help? Let me know what you guys think is going to happen in uh, in this chapter. And like I said, we will be getting spoilers and summaries in the next couple of days. So make sure you guys just subscribe by hitting the bell. It's my name, Fitzwong TV, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video thank you guys for the love and support i want to say thank you to dbs chronicles as always for getting us uh these uh summaries uh he he's amazing make sure you guys follow him on twitter uh but yeah i will see you guys later leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed have a great night guys peace